What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the latest smartphone for Motorola. This is the Droid Razor. It's got a fancy new box to go with this fancy new phone. Let's go ahead and see if it's worthy of the flagship status. Alright, so here is the Droid Razor in its fancy new soft touch box, different than the previous uh, Droid models that we've seen uh, come out of Motorola and Verizon. It's going to be available on 11 11 11 at appropriately enough 11 11 a.m. Uh, it's going to cost you $299 with a two year contract. So let's go ahead and remove the sheath. Droid Razor, sort of emblazoned on the box. Got that sort of creepy, all-knowing droid eye. I'm very curious to see what this guy looks like. It was uh, definitely one of the flagship announcements of the past few weeks, uh, perhaps overshadowed by the ice cream sandwich announcement, which Motorola has said this guy will be getting. So we'll go ahead and pull it out of here. For any of you guys that remember the original Razer, uh, this is going to be a very friendly feel. Uh, this phone is extremely thin. We'll talk about the dimensions in just a minute. Uh, with its sealed in battery and Kevlar back, I will begrudgingly put this guy off to the side for just a minute and see what else we're going to get in the box. We are going to get a LTE SIM card, which I think is going to be already in there. Uh, the folks at Motorola and Verizon probably put it in. Uh, we've got a power thing that plugs into the wall with prong. Does this with a USB port? Actually, with two USB ports. Well, that's handy. We've got a micro USB cord and master your device book. Sort of some quick tips, important consumer information, and product safety and warranty. But that's not why we're all here. I am extremely excited to take a look at this guy. Uh, this phone is really impressive. Uh, the Razer was actually one of my first phones that I ever bought. Uh, it was just sort of started my love affair with technology. So this has a little bit of a special place in my heart. So I'm going to go ahead and try and power this on. Hopefully it's got enough charge. And it looks like it does. All right, so while it's booting up, let's go ahead and run through the specs. So it is running Android 2.3.5, but will be upgraded to some tasty ice cream sandwich. Uh, dimensions, this is all uh, in inches. 5.15 by 2.71 by 0.28. You can certainly see it's got a bit of a hump there on top. Still an extremely uh, thin device. Uh, and it weighs only 4.48 ounces. Uh, this screen here is 4.3 inches. Pretty high resolution though, at 540 by 960. It's a super AMOLED panel uh, with 256 PPI, and it's got Gorilla Glass, so you're not gonna scratch it up. Go ahead and unlock that. And you can see Motorola's skin on there. Used to be called Moto Blur. Now it's just Moto Skin. Uh, it's got a really large battery for such a thin size. 1,780 milliamp hours are packed in there. Uh, it's got one gig of RAM, uh, 16 gigs internal with expandable micro SD card slot. And you should get a 16 gig card installed in there as well. On the back hump, eight megapixel camera right there that can shoot 1080p recording. Good telling you, 1080p at 30 frames per second. On the front, there is also a 1.3 megapixel camera. Uh, Verizon's 4G LTE. It's the second dual core LTE phone in Verizon's lineup, and this guy is an absolute doozy. Let's go ahead and walk through the phone. I'll zoom in a little bit. Let's take a look at what we got. All right, so here is the Droid Razor. On the left-hand side, looks like there's a little door. Let's see what's in store under there. Um, that's where your SIM card is going to live, and that SIM card is, of course, for LTE. And there's also a I see I can access it obviously without removing the battery since you can't remove the battery here. A micro SD card, which is indeed 16 gigs. So I'll go ahead and pop that sucker back in. Or at least attempt to. Go back to your home. There we go. So that'll give you 32 gigs of storage right out of the box. Assuming you have a long enough nail to push that back in. Go. And it just keeps yelling, droid. See so if we can get it to wrap with us. No, it doesn't want to do it. All right, so we finally got that back in. On the right-hand side, there's your power and lock button. Ha, huh, so we can make it keep yelling. Droid. Nope. Volume up and down, a little bit small down there. 3.5 millimeter headset jack. 
you've got your micro USB charging and HDMI out. And you can use this with um, all the sort of modular uh, things that Motorola's got in their web dock. Go ahead and peel off the back. And this is a Kevlar backing. Uh, it's not going to stop a bullet, but it will stop some few drops of water from getting to your electronics. They do say it's splash proof. So if you take this to the beach, not going to have much to worry about. Uh, it's got a really nice feel to it. It feels like that soft touch material we've seen on a lot of phones. This is a very high quality feeling phone. It's extremely thin, but it doesn't feel bendy. So what's in your pocket, it's not going to feel like you're going to you know, bust it. I certainly wouldn't put it in your back pocket and sit on it, but uh, it's got a nice feel to it. I'll go ahead and push this back down. Let's unlock the screen, take a look at some of the buttons. We've got a new capacitive button array here on the bottom. Uh, we don't have that four square menu button anymore. It's now the standard three lines. So there's that menu button, home button, back button, and search. And the screen here looks absolutely beautiful. So we do have pretty full uh, 4G LTE support. Let's go ahead and see what kind of apps we're going to get uh, out of the box. So we've got some proprietary Verizon stuff, some Motorola things in here. We've got Citrix's go to meeting, which is pretty handy. We've got a little bit of a 3D effect as we scroll along here. Task manager, mobile hotspot, that's probably going to come in handy with Verizon's blazing 4G LTE speeds. Let's go ahead and see what else we got going on here. Let's take a look at the browser. It's pulling up some of the Wi Fi networks. Go ahead and exit out of that. Browser. We should connect to the Wi Fi's. We will turn off auto start reminders. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the browser. We'll do a quick Google search for Techno Buffalo. You can see what the keyboard looks like there as well. T E C H. Keyboard feels pretty good, even from the side on my odd angle. Techno Buffalo. There we go. And we'll take a look how text looks and how pinch to zoom is. And this is all over 4G LTE, as you saw. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Um, pretty fast. Pinch to zoom seems to be a little bit odd. Sort of working. We'll try another website uh, that's not uh, mobile optimized and see how that looks. Let's go ahead and try. Let's try ESPN. We'll try the full site. ESPN.com. Boom. And we'll see what that looks like. It's going to load the mobile version at first, and then we'll scroll down and go off the mobile version, take a look at how everything looks. And again, this is not over Wi Fi, this is just over 4G LTE. Scroll to the bottom, and let's go to ESPN Home. All right, there we go. So now we've got the full ESPN loading in all its glory and loading very quickly. And now let's see if we've got pinch to zoom. Ah, uh, smooth pinch to zoom with flash content loading. There's a video going on right there. We got flash ads going, and things are humming along pretty quickly. Uh, as you would expect from its 1.2 gigahertz dual core TI OMAP 4430 processor if you're keeping track at home. So let's go ahead and bring in a real quick size comparison. Let's go ahead and usher on in an iPhone 4, and you can really get a chance to see not only how beautiful the screen looks, go ahead and check out the home screen, um, but how thin this is as well. This is just an extremely uh, thin device. Even with the hump right there, you can see just how thin this guy really is. Um, so is this going to be your next phone? Do you care if it doesn't have ice cream sandwich? Are you willing to wait for the update? I want to hear from you. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. This has been an unboxing and first look at the Droid Razor.